Hey, Brian from Steak Bites here. You guys know how tight niche we are as far as a crew here at BHB. We have a few new people that are in that crew now. We want to introduce them to you. You're watching Snake Bites. Well, I'm Kern. I come from Puerto Rico. I moved here about three weeks ago. I came here for working at BHP. That's the main reason why I got here. Well, I met Brian and watching some t some videos on YouTube, and well, we commented on each other's video. Like I had my own berms, he had the video of snake bites. So that's it. Well, the main reason I got here was to work with snakes. That's what I like. That's my. That's what I do every day where I live. My favorite types of snakes are big snakes. I had a 12 feet Burmese, a 9 feet albino Burmese, and then a lot of other Burmese pythons, maybe ball pythons, a few corn snakes. My primary job here is to take care of the corn, corn snakes. So I just clean the cages, feed them, change water. My name is George. I just started working at BHB about three weeks ago. I'm 19, I moved here from California. I take care of all the baby snakes here. And it's pretty cool. I like seeing all the snakes. All the snakes are great, except the mean ones. I only work with Chewy, me and Chewy all day in the same room, we share a room. That's great, Chewy's fun. <laughs> it's crazy sometimes. Chewy gets me in trouble any time he can. Turns the music up, so Lori yells at me. Anything Chewy can do to get me in trouble, he will. You know me and George, we share everything, even the radio. Let me give you an example. Here we go. My music. George's music. You know I love a chicken fry. Go beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And a radio up. A lot of seats. Oh, you guys. See you guys. Oh, Watch two do that too. Roll. The heck's going on? Where is everybody? <laughs> I'm so scared right now. <sighs> hey, if you think that was scary, you gotta check out the Halloween photo contest at monstersnakesforums.com. Me and Chew are gonna be judges, so send in your pictures, we'll be watching. So what we have here is a new segment called Pet of the Week. We're going to take a look at some animals, tell you what kind of pets they are in our rating system, five star being the best, and one star not being so good. We're going to take a look at ball pythons this week. And basically, you guys know I love ball pythons. These animals are great pets. They live about 20 plus years of taken care of properly. You want to have a hot spot in the cage of about 90 to 95 degrees. The ambient temperature, about 84, 85 degrees. Fresh water, you feed them once a week. These are just great animals. There's no doubt I'm giving this a five star. Hey, it's Snake Science with Dr. Chewy. I've been gone, but I'm back. Today we're going to analyze Cal's question of the week. After putting the extreme mathematical equations in my Dr. Chewy special machine, your votes have been tallied, and here's the results. <laughs> Clearly, week one goes to my favorite snake and yours, Pedro the Carpandro. The second week, landslide. And guess who took it? Yours truly, Dr. Chewy. I'd love to thank you. I want to thank my mom, my dad, all my fans, my wife, my kids. Okay, now on to week three. Week three was taken by a stunning black beauty called the Mexican Black King Snake by a narrow margin of about four votes. Okay, here we go. Week four looks like a tie between the queen bee and four other ball pythons. <laughs> Week four, we had a unanimous winner, as you can see. Week four, we had a unanimous winner, and you know who it was? Week four 
was a unanimous decision, as you can see. Won by the Queen Bee. Guess what? You've been watching Snake Science with Dr. Chew. That was, that was a good outro. Snake myths, fact or fiction? Yo, Brian, we got a mess of emails and comments regarding what substances slash chemicals will help remove a snake when it's already bitten you or help prevent the bite in the first place. So uh, what do you think about Listerine? I think we got to attack this one just like we did the alcohol test. Got anyone in mind? Hmm. I got one guy in mind. Chewy. Chewy. Oh, Brian, why don't you have Chewy put Listerine and see if you can get bit? Thanks. Here we go again. Oh, Chewy, why don't you stick your hand in me? <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It never works. You're killing me. Okay, here we go again. Listerine on a rag test. Take one. Oh! <laughs> oh, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Beat Henry on the head. Take one. <laughs> it worked. Chewy, gargle with Listerine. We'll kiss this beautiful brook snake. It worked! Dude, my nose! It's too big already! Chewy, you've been the big ass nose Listerine trick. It worked. Oh, my nose. Alright, Brian, now that all the testing is done, I got three questions for you. Will Listerine prevent a snake from biting? Tell you what, with what I saw, there's no way it does. This one's fiction. What about Listerine on a rag? Will it help remove a snake? This one had no effect whatsoever. That snake was not letting go. This one's fiction too. All right, what about straight Listerine, like poured on the snake that's already bitten yet? Will it help take it off? So this was the result that I was the most surprised at. It totally worked. I'm calling this one a complete fact. Fact. Hmm. What's this I hear about Chewy like gargling Listerine and then trying to kiss a snake? How'd that work out for him? I tell you, I don't think it worked out the way he thought it was going to. His nose kind of got in the way, and I tell you what, it was ugly. That's some scary <laughs> Quick myth for you. Chewie's nose is enormous. That's a complete fact. His nose is huge! Fact! Alright guys, you've met the new guys at our shop. So now this is Cal's question of the week. What is your dream job? What is the job that you will go through anything to get to? Let me know and don't say BHP because we're not hiring. I'm tired of you guys. So there you have it. I hope you guys got to get to know George and Kearney a little bit. They're the newest additions to the BHB crew. You guys know the online community I have to shout out to is MonsterSnakesForums.com. Go check out that photo contest. It's going to be a blast. I've been asked a lot about what I've been buying lately, going to all these shows. So next week, the whole show's dedicated to my buying spree. This was Snake Bites. <laughs>